Hello, welcome in all. So, uh, Dr. Lakshma, are you aware what is sorting? No, I don't know. So, today we will discuss one sorting is insertion sort. If you are aware of uh, playing cards, you can see that uh, there is the card you are placing in one hand. You can take one card and place on the another hand. So, there is two ways. Either you can use two array. This is called in if it, you are using separate array, one array is here, one array that is not in place sorting. But if you are using same array, 9, 4, 3. So, you will see first 9, you will keep like it. You are getting 4, you will place it is before 9. If you are getting 5, then you have to place between 4 and 9. So, this is what insertion sort. If you are using same hand and you are sorting in same array, that is in place sorting. So, today we will do in place sorting. These are the elements. If you can see here, we have 7, 2, 1, 6, 8, 5, 3, 4. All are unsorted. And there is sorting of three types. Whether element are uh, sorted in the increasing order 1, 2, 3, 4. Reverse sorted 8, 7, 3, 4. So, what we will do today, we will perform how we will sort all the elements. Okay. So, first I am going for insertion sort, which is uh, like this play. Okay. So, order you have to fix that. Will yes. It will be in increasing yeah, order. Yeah. Increasing. This we are getting, we have to be sort in okay. any order. Okay. okay. Now, what will happen? We'll, this is first element I am considering. This is N. So, you can consider one array, star, and the size is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 elements. So, in this starting from 0 to 7. So what insertion sort will do? Initially, this is let us consider index i. I am starting we are here. And the beauty of this one in insertion sort, each time you will place one element at the uh, its correct position. Okay, you are keeping all the element in the correct position. So the time complexity each time is uh, if time function where t n equal to t n minus one. So what each time correct? you are placing yes. What is correct position? How yes, I, I will tell. You. Yes, I will. Tell you. Now let us start with seven. Okay. This is index is 0. So, there is no more element here. So, what I will do? This is unsorted list. So, each time I will uh, create one list in which element will sort it and rest it. So, let us start index is i is 7. In this case, 7. If you compare, there is nothing. So, simply you are placing 7. You are not comparing this. Now, index is i will increase to 1, which is element 2. If you will compare with the 7 and 2, so where 2 will place? It will place before. Say on insulting order. Yeah. So simply what you will do, I simple, you can do swapping. I mean, before going to, you have to take in the temp variable, there is hold, yeah. there is hold. Now this is stored in temp variable. What you will do? Now you will compare two is less than zero. Yes. So you will swap, you will make the hold. Now hold is here. Let's suppose that hold is this one K. I will place this hold because there is no more element in this is zero. So beyond zero, we can go the two is now. now I am increasing i equal to 3. Now you see 1, 7 and 2. So this is now my sorted list. Before this sorted list, this is unsorted. Now next element of unsorted list is 1. So what I will do? The moment you are doing, you will take one temp variable. You are popping out. There is one hole is here. So what you will do? You will compare one is here. Yeah. Yes, less than 7. So you will swap. Then you will compare with. Keep comparing till you will not find 0. Or any element is greater than 1. I will stop. That I will. 2 is less than? Yes. I am going to see where is the hole? Hole is here. So I am placing one here. Yeah. Now sorted list is this is my sorted list. This is my answer. Next time what I am doing? Now my next element is six which I have to place. So what I will do? The moment you are doing, you are simply taking in temporary variable six. Now these are sorted list and the sorted list is growing each time one element we are sorting. Now you see each seven is less than six. Yes. Yeah. Six is less than seven. So, yes. So what I will do? I will keep sorting and the hole is here. But I told either you will stop at the centennial condition zero, or either you will stop any element which is less than uh, there already sorted. So I know if you compare six less than two, no. So I will stop here. My hole will be here. I will place six here. So you see now sorted list is one, two, six, seven. Now my indices is in, in, increasing to uh, four. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four. So eight you will take out. This is time variable. So again, what you do? There is hole. You will compare. Is eight is less than zero? No. So you will stop because after that I don't need to go. Two condition I will check. Whenever you are going to take element out, you have to condition check. If you are finding any element less than, you will keep swapping one space this way, and you try to create the element where we have to place. So each time you are placing element at the right. Now see is beauty. Now next element five, which is unsorted, you have taken out. Now you compare with eight. Is it 5 is less than 8? Yes. So I will keep swapping. 7 is again less than. Keep swapping. 
Six is again where I will stop, I will stop, and the hole is here. So now I'm placing five here. Now my sorted stitch. This one. Now the element next is three. So you have popped out. Now you compare eight. And I will ask you to do for four. Four you will perform. Okay. So I'm what I'm doing? Eight I'm doing here. Then seven is here. Then six is here. Still it is less. Five is here. And then next element is three and you will place you see what is the beauty of this code you can see that all the things are sorted now can you perform four four yes. four yes and this is my indice that you have taken out four what will do you Compare. can you perform yeah. uh, you are comparing four four is less you saw yeah. you saw four is, okay. yes one so four is no less than eight. four you will keep eight okay eight is less than four yeah yes eight is four is less than four yeah. so you swap eight one place now you will compare yes. seven again then six is still greater than, greater than four. Five is still greater than four. So you have find the place. Four is here now, where you have to place the four. And this is the beauty of C. You see how all the arrangement one, two, three, four, six, five, six, seven, eight. It's all different. the element. This is we call insert and sorts. Same way you have to play the cards. Okay. Also, Thanks. And we, later on, what we'll do? We will give you a time complexity analysis, recursive formula, all the things. Yes. Any question? A question. Uh, what is then linear search? It looks something like linear search. Linear search. Again, linear search in this case, we are traversing entire array. Okay, linear. I mean, all elements you are comparing. It is something. But uh, there is three type of uh, analysis. Best case, worst case, and uh, average case. Mm -hmm. If you see in best case, those in case of insert sort, I will get all the case uh, sigma and square. But if you see the beauty, if all the elements are sorted, all the element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you find all the element is sorted. In this case, you are comparing 1, 2, there is no condition because you are uh, checking the condition whether element is less than this one and second is I am reaching it. So each time you will not do anything. So you will do in the theta and big of n time. In best case, when already element in sorted order, in this case, you don't need to do anything because 8, you will take out and you will get. So you are not traversing all the element. Time. Otherwise, you are traversing all the element and n so n square was the complexity you see that just take the reverse example 8 7 6 5 4 3 descending order. descending order now i'm starting from here i'm starting from here okay oh. in this case what i have to do i have to do in increasing order 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you have to place here yeah. similarly you will find 7 6 so in reverse order sorting, we have to do different way, then 7, then 6, and then you will find this way. So in this case, it is n square, not n. But if it is already increasing order, you have to find, then it is n. So this is the things, in best case, it is performing very good. But worst case, in average case, it is not performing. So we have further merge sort, which is based on divide and sort. Okay, okay. thanks.